Let's start with the basics and see how to move forward. The harder you press, the faster you pedal. But be careful, the faster you go, the faster your energy drains away. Now we'll check the workings of your gear ratios. With the high gear ratio, you can go even faster. Perfect! A high gear ratio allows you to increase your effort and ride faster. Use it when you want to increase the distance between yourself and other riders or when the pace of the race is high. Let's go on to the attack. To attack, or follow an attack, you must ride out of the saddle, which consumes your attack gauge. Let's go on to the attack. To attack, or follow an attack, you must ride out of the saddle, which consumes your attack gauge. Great attack! The high gear ratio allows you to make more powerful attacks. Their effectiveness also depends on your race day condition. The better your race day condition, the more effective they will be. When your attack gauge is empty, reduce your speed. Now, take a careful look at the wind. Since the start, it has been a headwind. We'll soon turn left, and so take the wind from the side. It's best to have five riders between you and the oncoming wind so that you are protected and save energy. If you are very poorly protected, the protection shield will flash. 
Let's talk about feeds. Before each stage, you can choose two feeds. They allow you to recover some energy during the race. Choose your feeds according to the race strategy you intend to adopt for the stage. Red to attack or blue to ride for longer, for example. We are approaching the feed zone. Your second feed will become available here. If you have not used your first feed before the end of this zone, it will be lost. The feed zone is generally located in the middle of a stage. This is a factor to be taken into account when you choose your feeds before the stage. We'll soon attack a small climb. If you want to know the exact slope, you can look at the percentage. Good! At 6% and above, it's getting serious, and good climbing attributes are required to play a leading role. Let's have a look at management of effort and energy. I'll ask you to fully empty your gauges in order to test the effects of a blow-up. During a race, it's best to avoid a blow-up. But if it does happen, you should reduce effort to a minimum in order to recover more quickly. into the descent. You can recover, but you must stay focused to follow the right trajectory and to break at the right time. If the trajectory is red, it means you're going too fast and you're likely to fall. Excellent. To optimize your descent, you must use your brakes wisely to avoid having to brake hard and then waste energy by having to accelerate again. When you see long downhill straights, you can stop pedaling and put yourself in an aerodynamic position. If the slope is steep enough, you can pick up some speed. Okay, this position is useful in a descent because it allows you to reduce your wind resistance and, therefore, to improve your protection when you're alone or at the head of a group. If you're uncomfortable on descents or in technical sections, you can sit behind another rider and follow him. He will serve as your locomotive. If you're uncomfortable on descents or in technical sections, you can sit behind another rider and follow him. He will serve as your locomotive. That's good, but watch out, because in auto mode, you cannot follow a rider who attacks or sprints. 
You must also be careful because your energy decreases even in auto mode. We're almost finished. We just have to check that your team comm is working okay. It is a very important tool that allows you to give instructions to all your team riders. When you use it, auto mode is enabled. Okay, Team Com is working. I'd advise you to have a look at the manual to get a description of each instruction. Team Com also allows you to take control of another team rider. When the Team Com menu is open, you can change rider when you want. Okay, I'll put in a big acceleration. Changing rider will always let you be at the heart of the action. For example, if your current rider is too tired, you can swap to control a rider who has more energy. But be careful. If you ride too fast, you cannot use TeamCom. Perfect. You are ready for the tour. If you want to develop certain points, discover advanced features, or just learn more about the Tour de France, you can access the manual from the main menu.
Hello everyone and welcome to Corsica. The first stage, short and trouble-free, should end with a sprint. Riders have just set out and already there's an attack. Things are livening up at the head of the peloton. Attempt at a counter attack. Use the high gear ratio when the tempo of the race picks up. 
The rest of the time, use the small gear ratio so as not to strain yourself. The first riders are two kilometers from the climb. I'll go full out on the relay. Here's the positions over the last climb. Watch out! You're not going to be able to attack for much longer. There's a good few people at the front of the race. That must be why he's pushing his team. The lead group is too large to work well together. It may explode into several pieces. He's a good sprinter, often used as lead out rider to drive mass sprints. The peloton is riding hard. Stay well placed. The peloton is starting to ride behind you. It looks like he doesn't want yet another rider at the head of the race. One minute for the breakaway. It's looking good. 